Hey art nerds! Today for our how to draw flowers series I'm going to show you guys how to draw a pansy. We have drawn all sorts of flowers during this series and I have a few more awesome flowers coming up for you guys. So this is the reference image that we're going to be using. You can find a link to the original source down in the description below. The materials are super simple. We just need a Blick Studio watercolor pad, a mechanical pencil with H lead, and a Sakura Pigma FB. And the reason I'm using a watercolor pad and the Sakura Pigma FB is I plan on watercoloring this after. So we're starting by drawing kind of an oblong shape and then the crosshair that we're drawing is a bit curved and this is going to indicate the shape of the flower. Those curves are curving towards the center of our flower. We're then going to break our pansy shape down into the individual petals. Pansies have five petals. The two at the top and the back often look like one petal because they overlap so much. So we have three petals that are very much in the forefront and then we have the two kind of crammed in way in the back there. And you can see how we use the crosshair to kind of place our petals. And we haven't added a whole lot of detail yet. That's going to come next. So now that we have everything sketched in, we can start adding our detail. I'm working really heavily from the reference. It's on a monitor in the background, just off camera. And I'm trying to really capture the curves going on in these petals, how these petals move, how these petals flutter. So I'm going petal by petal and adding in more detail around the edges of the petals themselves. Alright, so now that we have our base flower drawn, we can start sketching in more details. So in this example, I'm just kind of blocking in where our different variations in inking is going to go. If you were doing this entirely in pencil, you would definitely want to add more detail here. If you plan on going just straight to watercolor, you may opt to add less. It really depends on what you want for your end piece. And now that we have that base sketch, we're going to sketch in a leaf and we're going to sketch in the stem. And considering how large the flowers and the petals on pansies are, their stems are actually very delicate. And their leaves are a little bit smaller than the leaves on violet plants. It's like the proportions have been all switched up. All right, our next step is going to be inking. We're going to use a Sakura Pigma FB brush pin. This brush pin can deliver thicker lines. It can de deliver really fine, delicate lines. I like the nuance it brings to my art and illustration. And it happens to be alcohol marker and waterproof, which is a great bonus because I have an upcoming How to Paint Flowers series for you guys. So I'm starting by inking the very center of our flower. So you guys might notice there are these little oval shapes in the center of a pansy. And there's a little bit of overlap where the petal itself kind of overlaps those. And it's going to vary flower to flower, pansy to pansy. And now we're inking that bottom petal that kind of overlaps the two on top of it. And I'm using the brush itself, varying my pressure to create this kind of variegated line weight. So we're getting some areas that are much thinner than others. And we're also scalloping or adding ruffles to the petal. I'm adding a few lines, a few striations, just to give an indication of the contour on this petal, what direction the petal is moving in. All right, that's our first petal down. We're going to be inking the subsequent petals very similarly to how we ink this one. So in our other how to draw flower videos, we talk a lot about overlap and order of operations. So generally I draw the petals that overlap other petals first. So I work from front to back.
here we have our pansy based inked. Next, we're going to go in and add some details using our brush pen. So I apologize for the fact that we're just slightly off camera. What I'm doing is, you remember those areas we kind of marked off that would have the darker markings or the lighter markings? I'm using a series of very fine, delicate lines to kind of darken in that area. When I watercolor it, it's going to be purple, but I really like for my inked art to kind of be able to stand on its own. So I'm going ahead and I'm using really fine, delicate lines to ink that in. Then I'm also using a series of fine, delicate lines, just outlining the white part to indicate kind of that mm, jagged transition from the purple into the white and then the white into the light purple. And I'm going to do the same with the other two overlapping petals. And you guys will be able to see that a little bit clearly, more clearly at least, than from what you were able to see previously. So the thing about inking like this is it does take some practice. It takes getting used to not only inking, not only being able to control your pressure, which may be difficult for folks who are used to ballpoint pens where you really have to bear down and get them to write, or uh, technical pens where they just always deliver a consistent line weight. Brush pins do take some practice and even just getting used to the brush pin that you're going to be using all the time is going to take some practice. So it's important to be patient with yourself. Now that I have our pansy flower inked, I'm going in and I'm inking the leaf. I inked the center negative space since if you guys look at the reference, it's actually where the leaves curl around leaving space. And then I ink the kind of scalloped edges going around the leaf itself. And then finally, we're going to ink the stalk. So I hope you guys enjoyed this how to draw pansies video. We have loads more flower tutorials, not only here on this channel, but in the how to draw flowers playlist. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite flower is. I'd love to draw it or maybe we've already drawn it together and you guys can check that out. I also have all sorts of drawing tutorials here on this channel. If you're interested in learning how to draw comics or if you're interested in learning how to draw people or learning how to draw clothing, I've got you covered here on this channel. I hope I'll see you guys again in another how to draw flowers video. Bye guys. Have a wonderful day.